Hey, Scissor Siblings, come see me in Kansas City for five shows this weekend. And also, check out Stevie's new Stand Up on the Spot special. Now let's get into this episode of Scissor Bros. But do you want to see the bruises from my vasectomy? You going to show me? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, guys, Steve isn't in the studio yet, so shh. But today, we're doing our first Scissor Bros Challenge that is interactive with you, the viewers and listeners. On screen, Jordan is going to put four variants of bingo boards, if you're familiar with that. We're doing Steve Bingo today. When Steve says or discusses the topics that are in the different quadrants, start playing bingo, and the first one to win at home, you give yourself a prize. Now, if Steve wins this today, he gets a bag full of goodies, which means that if he hits the different bingo ones, then he wins. I have to give him a grab bag of good stuff. It's a positive challenge, and I think that you guys are going to dig it as you see this unfold. Let's get into this episode. We should do another ASMR, ASMR, ASMR episode. Episode, episode. I don't know, man. People didn't like people, that people other one. Love the ASMR. We need to. It's summertime, so you need to keep them calm, calm. Because I don't know. The heat is out. out the heat is out. That is this true. Be an ASMR episode. I don't think it will be. In Lay three, two, two, one. Boom. Welcome to Scissor Bros, non ASMR, well, but sometimes well, ATM well, 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 on Scissor Bros. Do you know what ATM is? What is that? Is that an acronym for something? It sure is. What does it stand for? Can I guess? Mm-hmm. All things moist, 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 moist. Uh, no. Anal, anal, turbulence, turbulence, <laughs> anal turbulence, motion, motion, <laughs> motion, motion. I like that anal, one. Yeah, let's keep coming motion. up with different acronyms. Anal, tribute. Okay. Movie? Anal tribute movie? Moment. Moment. Anal tribute moments. Moment. Moments. 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 Okay. I think we are getting close. Um, Anal. Anal theory. It, nope. Momentum. Momentum. Okay. Momentum. Anal. That sounds like a space movie that I might check out with Matthew McConaughey. Anal. T. Can you give me a hint with the T? It, well, A is not right. Oh. Oh. Mm. Ass. <gasps> Got it. Ass. Come on, man. I know you got this inside of you. Ass. Let's get the T and the M. Yeah. What is the T and the M? It has to do. You keep pointing to your butt. Ass. Tongue. Ass, tongue. You got this. Moment. <laughs> no, no. What? What? What is? What? Are, what is this? Kiss. No. What is? It starts with an M. Mamushka. <laughs> no. Stop. You Just know. say it. It's driving me crazy. Just say it. Ass to mouth. A- ass to. Mouth. <laughs> Why does it sound like you're reading for the first time? <laughs> the eighth. Okay. Do Never people... heard of that. Yeah, but I don't really hear it a lot. Mm. And that's is that a sexual term? Oh yeah, man. So you eat the ass, then you kiss your loved one, ass to mouth. I don't know if I'm down for that. <laughs> You do that. I don't know about that, brother. I can't picture you doing that whatsoever in your personal love life. I would never go whatsoever. I You're would not never an go ass guy at all. I would never go ATM. But I can't even see you doing that at all. That was if there was an option of like different sexual things, it's like, yeah, that's a last choice that you would choose. What, the butt? Yeah, you would stay away from even a, the most beautiful Bubblicious? Yeah, bubblicious female butt there is you would be like nah why do you think my nose would get lost think... in there now with that 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 would <laughs> i could see you do like a little woody, a woodpecker? Wood, woody woodpecker in there <laughs> a little pigeon head thing to the hole uh-huh. yeah yeah 
you could probably make a lot of money on OnlyFans doing that. All right. Yeah. So thanks again for uh, tuning in. Oh, yeah. Our uh, producer, Ryan, is supposedly sick. <laughs> supposedly. Is that your I Trump? I call bullshit on that. <laughs> is that your Trump? I call bullshit on that. It sounded like you were trying to do Trump for a second. No, 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 no. I don't do him. I'm not an impersonator. Do you believe him? Do I believe Ryan? Yeah. Is he sick? I think he's sick. Yeah. Or he, is it Friday and he doesn't want to come into work because he may have had one too many last night? I don't think so. You think he's drinking hard on a Thursday? Well, I'll tell you this much. He didn't eat those peanuts that we ate last week. Those are rough. How are you feeling? How are you coping with that? Like, that really messed me up, dude. It oh, took me a full day to recover from It was those. one of the worst challenges that we've done. It was brutal, dude. It was brutal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I do know what you're saying. So you're saying out of all, because how many episodes have we done? Dude, over 100 and almost 20. Over 120 episodes. Almost, That yeah. was the, the worst challenge thus far. Mm-hmm. Me too. I agree. Yeah. But honestly... One of the worst challenges that we did, and I guess, I don't know when it'll be out. Maybe it'll be out this week or next week, was on Jason Ellis' show. Can we talk about it? Yeah. We did Shot Caller Pictionary, and it was a freaking nightmare of a challenge. His um, collar buzzer was way worse than the one we had. Yeah. Can I talk about the placement of the buzzer on the spine? Yes, because I want to hear about what that did to you the rest of the day. Not good. It was like, um, I don't know, like kind of like a PTSD type deal where it's like, because it shocked me, like the shock, I guess it's the placement of the shock, it really jolted me. Mm. What about you? Yeah, it was like, since it was on the spine, later in the night, I was having like leg tremors and stuff like that. It wasn't a good one. Really? Yeah. I had to take a nap later, and then I did a show later that night, and I was like, oh. Yeah. It was rough. Why is it that... And and it was only on level one. There was like seven settings or something. Mm-hmm. And this was the lightest... Do you believe that was the lightest shock setting? I don't setting? know. It, dude, it... I, I don't think it was. That didn't it was feel crazy. like a one to me. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe dogs wear those. Huh? Dogs wear those? That's crazy. They should get rid of those. That's not you. That's not even humane to even do anything to it. Yeah, you, know, you can't do that to an animal would at you, all. Would you ever wear that in the bedroom? I don't like where you're going with this, but I'll go along with it since you want to go along with it. <laughs> would I ever wear a shock dog dog collar to, into the bedroom be, before getting intimate? During and my my partner could control it. Um, no. Mm. Uh, ask for a different but what, alternative. Or what something. if they hit it right when you? Uh, that would right. be the, that would be the worst ejaculation in the history of ejaculations. Because mm. it's like pleasure and pain. It's like uh, you know, like uh, you know, you're like about you're nutting, and then you get in the shock. You would like that? <laughs> no. What if you were? Is that some white boy shit? What do you mean? <laughs> do white people like doing that? No. You're the one with the kit. What do you mean kit? You have a kit. Yeah, but that's uh, to prevent from pregnancy from happening. What? We're on two different pages today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what kit are you talking about? Wait, wait. What kit are you talking about? Uh, you can say it. My Fifi masturbation kit. Oh, interesting. What kit are you talking about? I thought I was talking about that too. Isn't it, I don't understand the the comparison in this the story. Mm, I lost track. Yeah, because we're talking about. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I could have used that as a snare. I could have used that. <laughs> I could have used both of those. Both of what? Well, I wanted to talk about this as a talking point. I brought Stevie's fart corner back in my own way. What do you mean? I thought of the idea the other night. To Scissor Bros? No, I'm doing it for my channel as far as... um, Whoa! 
because you got you know you guys are you know you guys were kind of gray in a, in a, but no no but hear me out i'm making original fart beats now really yeah so i thought of um a whole angle where i didn't want, want those farts to go to waste so i i thought well can i make an original um beat on my sampler where I, I take individual farts and put them on a button. Can I play you a little bit of the intro of uh, of um, Stevie's Fart Corner uh, original fart beats? I would love that. Okay, so <laughs> try not to uh, judge so much because it's 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 a new idea, right? Hey, man, I'm not gonna judge. Okay. I encourage your thoughts. Stevie's Fart Corner original fart beats, 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 beats. We have Connor Hawkins in the house, Connor Hawkins. We have Mark Zilla, 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 Zilla. We also have Angel Segura in the house. Don't forget Chesney grabbing his son, son, son. We also have Jesse Smith in the house. Also, last but not least, we have Shane McCarthy. So, so and then, so that was the intro. I wanted to do it. We're doing a DJ set. <laughs> And so, so tune in because I, I I play it live. So that's just the intro of the beat. But I play it. Li I trigger everything live. So I I so I uh, maybe each week I'll pick six of the best farts, and then and then um and then you know that way the, you know you you give them respect, and then you make an original <laughs> fart beat every week. What do you think about that idea? Well, I think that's a much more creative idea than what you were doing on Scissor Bros. <laughs> You think so? Dude, you put in time and creative uh, endeavors on this. I love that. What, making a beat out of farts? Yes, that's creative. That's welcome here on Scissor Bros. <laughs> really? So Dude, if it's crafted you, that way? You, you made a whole character, DJ Farts. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That's great. Yeah. And do you think it'll make them feel big, good because it's like they're submitting? That's coming out of their yeah, ass. To DJ Farts? Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, dude, that's like, they could be like, dude, my fart made the cut. <laughs> dude, you could be DJ Fart Breath. I don't know about breath. Relax, <laughs> relax there. What? I'm real self self conscious about my breath. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want me to. You know, what do you mean? You want me to. What, do you have a breath savers? Oh. Uh, you don't. Do I you? do. Why don't you grab one real quick? They're on the right there. But then you'll be sucking on it in no, the I mic. Won't. Oh, just you're have, just gonna I'll chew it? it? No, I have it just. Contained. Oh, you're like dip? Yeah, I'll have it like because <gasps> I, I don't have my dip. dip. I was <gasps> rushed. This I don't have a dip. I need some. I need some oral fixation. Yeah, I need something. Yeah. You're rushing? Yeah. Rush I, hour? Yeah, I need something right now. Rush hour four I'm right here. I'm having nicotine withdrawals. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Help me out, bud. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Thanks for the encouragement. Yeah. So it could become a series, right? Stevie's fart corner original style fart beats tune into that dude dj fart corner oh dude i don't do you think anyone's done that that that's my thing right i think that's you dude that's me oh thank you yeah that was a good sign um i've also been you know i look up weird stuff on the internet um like what? i discovered well there's this new thing i watch um tales from the trip you know like tales from the crypt okay there's this thing called Tales from the Trip. So they they there there's just stories where there's like five stories in one segment where they talk about like a, like a bad DMT trip. But there's have you heard of Datura? It's a flower. No. Well, Datura is a flower, but then they um spawn these seeds right in a pod, and when you ingest these seeds, I, I think about this as far as a uh, future challenge. Think about what. There's these seeds from this flower called Datura. And when you when you when you eat them, it causes psychosis and like the most hell like hallucinations. Hmm. What do you think about it like a future trip? Like as far as a challenge did trip. Did you say think about it like a future trip? Like a future challenge trip. I think you did, yeah. Yeah. Why do you want me to trip so bad on this podcast? I don't is that peer pressure? I I didn't mean to peer pressure. <laughs> 
You brought well, it my up. sobriety would be at stake too. You, brought, you know, what I know I'm you brought it up a few times. Yeah, mm. I've never brought up the Toro though. That's the first time I said that word on the podcast. I've never heard de you toro. say that. De Toro, Del Toro, D A T D A T U R A, De Toro, De Toro, De Toro. Okay, you never heard of this? Never heard of it. It's the and it makes you trip. Ninety nine percent of all stories is like the, you get brought to a hell like dimension. Oh my god! Yeah, like and why where would people you... have lost their minds? They get they go through this dark psychosis where they actually see like demons and and there's never a good story with Detora. Huh? Yeah, you've never heard of this? Flower? No, I've heard of Salvia. Different. It's worse than it's the worst. My friend smoked Salvia in high school. He said he turned into a couch. Like legit. <laughs> I mean, he didn't actually turn into a couch, but he said he felt like he turned into a couch when he smoked it. Yeah, I'm sure that might happen with the Torah, but you'll see like dead people and demons. And Why would you want us to do that then? You already know that I get freaked out easy of stuff from the beyond. Yeah, I don't want us to lose our minds. You're right. Be- some, some people don't come back from these trips. Permanent vacation. It's permanent. They, they go into the loony bin. Oof. Yeah. Now, would you be mad? You know how, um, you know that story of where the the famous story where Ari um, dosed Bert mm-hmm. with um, ecstasy? Yeah. Let's say, I would never do this, by the way. I'm just playing devil's advocate. <laughs> you're, you're laughing a little bit. <laughs> no. Where, like, you're like, hey, let's go get some hamburgers. And we go, like, to the counter or, like, whatever. We go to a burger place, in and out or whatever. Yeah. And then you, you go to the bathroom. And I have the tourist seats. And, I'm like, or, I like, I put them in your milkshake or something. and then, But but then I'll put my put put them in mine. That would be the, the that would be so wrong. Now, would you, would you film it? Oh, yeah. It would be a whole, like, five-hour vlog or something. Mm. Yeah. That's like an unforgivable thing. Now, what if when you started tripping, you thought I was a woman? <laughs> and you got attracted to me in another dimension, dude. What would you do? Well, oh no, that'd be that'd be a bad trip. Like I'm voluptuous, dude. <laughs> All of a sudden you have like red lipstick and mm-hmm. a small oh, nose. Oh, your a hair grows nose. long in front. <laughs> there goes, your nose shortens, it shortens. Lipstick forms. Your hair starts growing. <laughs> oh, and then you start growing like huge, morphing breaths. Huge, dude. Huge. You know, I'm pretty sure if it was Detour, it'd be that like the scene in The Shining where Danny goes into the room and then sees the old woman. You know what I mean? Like the old woman in the bathtub, and it's some ha- hag, like <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. like that type. Yeah. Type of deal, yeah. Yeah. I think it would it would turn it would start good, but then it'll turn into like the shining, the woman yep. in the okay, so, bathtub. So so then like I'm this voluptuous woman, right? And you're tripping and then when do you turn into a hag? Mm mm. I'm hot the whole time. No, we're talking about the tour though, so you're <laughs> no, gonna no. There I'm to hot be- the whole time. It's a good detour trip. And then you wake up and your arm is underneath me, coyote ugly style. I don't like what you're doing with it, your right arm, the way you're cusping and <laughs> flexing it, flexing it this way. In bed, but continue. In bed with your scissor bra. We're both. I don't like this. We're, we're both in the same sleeping bag. I don't like this. Well, you don't like this. Why are you do? Because I'm cupping? right here. I'm right here. Oh, you're right here. Uh huh. You can't move ah. your arm. You can't move your arm. And you're going along with it. Well, we already did it. You have to live I with it now. I physically got sick. Really? No. No. Now let me flip it on you. Oh. <laughs> what if I turn into like Lucy Lou? Lucy Lou in her prime. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh huh. And I just grow like fuck these huge <laughs> double D's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I just yeah, dude. And my hair grows long. And then, dude, I, dude, it's just like bombshell of a hot Asian chick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And what if, what if then, but what, what if then after that, you turn into <laughs> like, like an Asian pinhead from Hellraiser? It reverses everything. The hair goes back up, and you're like, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's what Detora will right. do. But then I look at you and I go, 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this, but what are you t- like? You're in the like I'm fight? not into the. You find out I'm not into the Lucy Lou, but you're into. I'm the, into the pinhead Hellraiser. Ghoul. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'd probably do the same. I'd be into the ghoulie ghoul. Yeah? Yeah. Where you turn into like this is wretched, horrific, like mm-hmm. granny with like fangs. <laughs> yeah. We got to do a special Halloween edition when that comes in a couple months. Dude. Where we dress up. What if we were both pinhead for, for Halloween? I mean that that makeup job would, would be pretty. It'd be pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, it would pretty hard. It'd be pretty hard to do. You know? It'd be pretty intense. Yeah. Um. Do you want to? You don't have to. But do you want to see the bruises from my vasectomy? Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? You're probably interested, right? Yeah. It's it'll it'll never look this way again. Are you gonna show me? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you just gonna stand up? Do you want me to walk over there? I'll walk over to you, so you, so the the camera can still be oh, on get your my expression. Reaction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, dude. Because yeah, yeah, this is a once in a lifetime. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime. It's a once in a lifetime. It's never gonna yeah. be bruised like this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm can't never, wait. And I'm gonna show you the stitches too. Okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so Jeremiah is about to walk over here and show me his vasect- vasectomy stitches near his uh, scrotum. Why you? Why you? Why are you backwards? <laughs> yeah, why are you backwards, dude? Because I need to prepare. Before oh, okay, okay. I, I need to prepare. Okay, okay. okay. What kind of underwear? Dude, you are wearing some crazy red undies. What the hell the hell is going on, dude? Dude, back up. But what are you wearing, it's bro? A, it's a jock strap. You have to wear that? Yeah, for support. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you look like a male stripper with that. Really? Like Aussie, Aussie, Aussie's down under. <laughs> Chippendale. Dude, I don't want to look at the mole on your ass cheek any longer. Hurry up, bro. One second, one second. Oh my god. You're gonna find this kind of brutal. You ready? Yeah. It's kind of gross. Dude, hurry up. Let's get it over with. Okay, one oh my god. You ready? Look, these are all bruising. And that's what are those black scabby things? Bitches. Ow! Dude, put it away. Put it away. Dude, look. Put it away. Look, but put side. it away, dude. Bruised all the way down dude, here, that's dude. insane. Right? Okay, dude. I got it, dude. I don't. Dude, I got it. Dude, isn't that, dude. Look, look at the bruise. But what are those black up. things? The that, that stitches. Ow! Oh, they're like they look like little circular dude, scabs. Dude, look at this one's pointy. Look. It's so this dark, bro. Out. Dude, your nuts are darker than mine. Because oh, they're bruised. Oh my. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay. I got it. Oh wow. God. Oh my God, dude. That's stitching those like brown scabby things. Mm-hmm. That's stitching. Why are they circular? Dude, that does not look good. How much pain? Are you taking popping ibuprofen? Like, how are you dealing with this? Can we talk a little bit about this post vasectomy deal? Yeah, yeah. Man. So it's been one week since I had it. And that's what it looks like after a week. It's still bruised after a week like that. D- dude, do you have to put ice cubes on your nuts? Or I was. What? I was the first day. What kind of over-the-counter thing or what kind of medication are you taking for the pain just ibuprofen man really yeah that's it how many are you popping four every four hours no i do three when it starts to bug me i want to hear about like step by step when you went into the office did they give you laughing gas like give me that whole wa- deal they don't give you laughing gas well don't they like like when you go to the dentist, they give you that lap, that thing where you they, they count down do from that. 10, 9, 8, and then you're out, right? I was awake the whole time. You were conscious? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you know in the dentist, they give you Novocaine? Or, right. They, 
So they give you they they start putting iodine all Ugh. over your testicle area. Yeah. And then they numb you up with shots on both sides. That's like in Do Dr. Pimple Popper. They they do that. Right, to numb cysts. you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they do that, and you obviously feel that. And they started doing it, and I could still feel it. And so they tried to give me more shots on both sides. And I talked to some guys about this who have also had vasectomies. And... The, it sounds like they I I did not get numbed up enough because I was like, oh, I felt so much of it while it was going on. Oh, why didn't you say something? I thought that dude? That's, they had already given me multiple shots. So I was like, oh You know, they could have gave you more shots to numb it more. Yeah, but I, I thought that, that was just normal until I talked to people afterwards. And they're like, No, I didn't feel that much. Yeah. So what did it feel like? You know, you mentioned pulling. It felt like pulling, dude. Um, wow, you, you've been kicked in the nuts. Yeah. Every guy's been kicked in the nuts. It feels like every that. guy feels like that. But your balls, the cord is being pulled up to your stomach. You know the sensation, that pit in your stomach when you get kicked in the balls. Yeah. Okay, it feels like that, but it's like a rock with a string attached to and it. And they're you're and yanking it to. That's your, what it feels like. Oh my god. Horrible. You didn't go out. You didn't give out like a Yelp or you didn't let the doctor know, hey, this is. I mean, I, I told them. Like, I, I, was like, I was like, uh, I was like making faces and stuff like that. Like, and, and yeah. I vlogged the whole thing. You did. Yeah. <laughs> while, you, while you're doing it? Yeah. Oh my. It's. Way too long to show on this episode because it's like a 15 minute thing. You had your camera <laughs> vlogging your vasectomy for 15 minutes? What did the nurses and doctors say about that? I asked them and they said that they're okay with it. So, can I, I'll show a little teaser now of what you can expect, but like it's too long to, to, to just play out the whole thing on this episode. I'll you know show what? a little. I'll show a little teaser. Yeah, yeah. Now. Show a little teaser. <laughs> All right. It's the morning of my vasectomy. I wasn't too nervous leading up to this, but getting here now, I'm like a little bit nervous. <laughs> Olivia. He fainted here. Okay, can somebody? Can somebody just be in here and hold him? Yeah. I'm gonna keep going. So you can you can check out the full version on my oh channel. Oh my god! Of the vasectomy vlog. Yeah, because it's it, it got intense. I I did pass out at one point. You did. <laughs> How are you feeling now though? Now that the operation is over with. <sighs> um. Like you may, do you think at the end of the day this is what you you ultimately wanted this right? <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> did you get it? No. Oh, okay. Uh no no I definitely I definitely wanted it. It was either going to be me or my wife as far as like... Getting like, that operation. Like, yeah, and it's way easier for a guy to do it than a it, girl it getting their tubes tied. Yeah. So like she went through childbirth. She's carried two of her children. It's the least I can do. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Some people look at it differently. I've been surprised like some guys have been very much like, dude, I can't believe you did that. That's like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you have her do it? And I'm like, oh, because she's she's already been through a lot with right, like the babies and stuff. Right, right, right. Um, so I'm happy that I did it. I will say... I feel like I'm healing a little bit slower than some other people that I've talked to. Uh, like I usually play basketball on Saturdays. I'm not going to play tomorrow. There's no freaking way. No. I do not. And it's already been a week. Yeah. And now since it's been a week, I am allowed to nut now. I wasn't supposed to or allowed to nut that first I was first just going to ask you, have you masturbated since? No, I haven't. I'll, I'll, I might have to vlog the post nut. It I just, uh, I just hope. I mean, are you scared that the? I'm thinking the first the one might be bad. It might be like maybe a little blood in there. Oh, don't say that. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't know what a vasectomy does to your nuts. Man. No, no, no. I, there shouldn't be blood in there. It might be a little bit painful. Yeah. First, so but. you haven't busted a nut since. No. Are you afraid that maybe the sensation will go away? Like, what if it's like, what if you do it and then when you're when you nut, it like there's no sensation. Would you be there, there'll out? be a sensation. I think the first couple might be a little sore. 
yeah. I know. But yeah. after that, then we should be good. I mean, you saw the bruising, so. Yeah, it's gnarly, dude. It's bad, right? They look like like circular scabs, like in yeah. line. Yeah, like, it's gross. Scab, scab, scab. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. Yeah, you no, did it. No apologies. So you feel, you feel reassured? I'm feeling better. I woke up for the first time this morning, like, kind of like morning aroused, you know? Not like a morning boner, but you know when you're like, oh. Yeah, that it's still it's still working down there. Yeah, but the first five or six days, my penis was hiding. Oh, it was, oh, it was scared of everything. Oh, right. Because it had just been through something. A leave might help uh, opposed to ibuprofen. Have mm. you tried a leave? No. Yeah, that might help more. Yeah. Mm. A leave works good, yeah. 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 I'm sorry, man. Yeah, hey, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have... Have your your comedian friends like have they poked fun of you or other? Have have they been like? I mean, there's been a couple. You? No, there's been a couple people that are like, oh, I heard you got your balls removed, like that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. That's like just a dumb joke. You're the probably the only person that I've known that that went through with that. Really? I don't know anyone else with a vasect- that's done a vasectomy. Do you, do you know anyone else who's done that? Now we're real scissor bros. I know. I don't. I don't have a vasectomy. Summertime means lots of pool parties. If you're hitting the water in a Speedo this year, you'll want to make sure your grooming game is on point. Lucky for you, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to shape up. It includes a lawnmower 4.0 trimmer with a 7,000 RPM motor and a spotlight to get your best shave ever. It even has a ceramic blade to reduce nicks and cuts, so everything will be silky smooth. The kit also comes with Manscapes, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, a pair of comfy boxers, and a classy travel bag to hold your gear. You know that Lawnmower 4.0 is the most perfect razor I've ever used in my life. I shaved all my pubes, bro. I shaved everything with Manscaped before my vasectomy, bro. There you go. No matter what you're up to this summer, you can count on Manscaped to keep you looking great, man. So get 20% off and a free shipping with the code SCISSORBROS at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com and use code scissor bros manscaped the perfect way to to get get your patty sizzling sizzling hot hot this summer manscaped dude but seriously like my balls are fresh i'm happy for you and that's manscaped dude heal up bro we got a long summer ahead of us with manscaped (laughs) <laughs> You're silky. <laughs> what are you saying? Well, you know, I went under the... F- f- oh, I'm a real scissor, bro. You really went under... Yeah, they, they use... They snipped it. Yeah. Well, you Speaking know of that, should we... Yeah, we'll do some scissors. Yeah. It's getting a little toasty in here, though, huh? Should we go shirtless? No, I'm fine. We can do it. We can do it. Ready? You ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Are you doing it at home along with us? Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. 21, 22, 23. It makes you feel good if you follow along. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. That felt I feel good. better. Yeah, that felt good. Yeah. Oh, can I play a video of that somebody sent in of of their uh, their their son doing scissors? Mm, mm-hmm. And this is uh, submitted to the Scissor Bros uh, email? Yeah, you can email scissorbrospod at gmail.com and get videos featured on there. You can Ooh. ask us questions. Uh, we always take uh, a lot of bonus uh, questions and voice uh, messages for our Patreon and stuff like that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, they're called Dayco- Daycare Scissors. And this is from Nico Escara. He said, what up, Scissor Brothers? 
My son Leo and I love your show. Leo's mom and I have schedule changes, so we don't get to see her as often as we'd like. We've been ending our days with some positivity while joining in on some scissors, mm. dancing to silly songs, and laughing at some crazy challenges. Mm. While I do have to navigate around some inappropriate parts that I go watch and laugh to after he goes to bed, I'm grateful to you guys helping me create some lasting memories with my son. Mm. Huge thank you from your scissor siblings, Nico and Leo. P.S. Yesterday, Leo started a new daycare, and I mentioned to him, let's not bring up scissor bros just in case. But of course, when I picked him up, I asked him what he did, and he said, oh, we did some scissors today for the bad energy, and I just face palmed. Could have been worse, I guess. Yeah. So let's play that video. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 22. How do you feel when uh, um, scissor parents... Uh, you know, tell us that, like that, that their kids watch Scissor Bros. How does that make you feel? Do you get weirded out by that? Like, huh? Kids like it, and uh, why? If they do like it, why do you think they do? Why? Why does it captivate them? I think it's similar to like when we grew up with Sesame Street and we counted along with like the alphabet and stuff oh, like that. Oh right! Like it's like get involved in the show. You used to watch Sesame Street? Heck yeah, play! You grew up with that? Yeah, dog. So you're you're comparing Scissor Brothers. To Sesame Street? It's like Sesame Street meets Jackass. You think so? Sometimes. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you think these kids, uh, you're you're kind of like affecting them as far as hu- like comedy or... I don't know. Or what they think I might be funny. I haven't or, thought about that, really. Oh. But do you think it's the colors, too, of our backdrops? Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, and you it, know... And it, it keeps their attention? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I was I I was wondering like huh they they like it yeah kids like it sometimes yeah oh that's f- and they can dance along and stuff with us so. right 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 yeah but my my balls uh lately have been uh, that's why I've been wearing the jock strap because it uh what I've heard after the vasectomy is gravity is not your friend so when you let your balls just like dangle like it the pulls on the cords that were healing oh my goodness <laughs> so that's why it's bruised on on the sides I think are you wearing those to bed too whatever yeah. You're wearing those jock strap that it's to it, keep everything. It kind of looks like a th- reverse thong type deal. Did you like it? No, <laughs> I didn't. I did it. What if it was on same thing, but on Channing Tatum? No. Does, does he have moles on his ass cheeks? Hey, <laughs> You shame my nuts, man. I got I got to poke fun back at you. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. It's like two chips of cookies back there, huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Did you say that my butt looked like Marilyn Monroe? Because somebody else did. No. Like the mole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only part of the butt looks like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. The rest of it looks like Marilyn Manson. Now, do you think tainted love, <laughs> literally yeah. tainted love? Oh, sometimes yeah. I feel yeah, I've I got, got to, to run yeah, away. Yeah, I've got, got to get away. away. Well, that's good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Too much going on with a new baby and stuff. How How are you doing with that, man? Working on it, man. I want. I really it's want. It's good. To know what kind of sleep are it's you? It's a lot of highs and lows. You know. What kind of sleep are uh, is you, it disruptive sleep patterns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like last night, for example, I was yeah. up every like two, three hours. Wait, come again? I was up every two, three hours last night. Wow. Yeah, just feeding the baby and stuff like that. It was, it was like my turn, you know? Like my shift was last so you night. Guys, that's what parents do. You break it down into You shifts. have to. Otherwise, like my wife wouldn't be getting enough sleep. You have Cause to. Because I, dude, I'm a deep sleeper. If she's like, I got this. If she just said that. I would sleep through all the crying. I'm that deep of a sleeper. But if she's like, hey, I need help. Will you please help me? I'm like, oh, yep. Got it. Dude, I would be the worst parent ever. Not necessarily because you no, like, you I like to stay up late. You'd probably be gaming in between those late night stuff and then you'd sleep during the day. Oh, that would be my... I would do the graveyard shift. Oh, right? yeah, dude. Oh, I'd be the graveyard shift What guy. would you be playing? Oh, all kinds of games. FIFA, Call of Duty. Which one on Call of Duty? I don't know the the new one. Which one? Call of Duty Warzone. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. You knew, already knew that though. What? 
What do you mean, which one? The, the like which what what's it called? Is it two? Is it called four, number two? I think now it's four. Yeah. I oh, I didn't know four. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would do be doing that. I'd be you know yeah, so I could play video games and then do you think a lot? Yeah, dads do that. Dads do that. They they do it at night. They'll they'll play video games and they'll go. Oh, I gotta tend to my kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other than that, what what kind of like what kind of food is your the kid eating? Is it still liquid food or? <laughs> well, it's. <laughs> He's is not, it raw breast milk? Yeah, it's like that and, and formula. I don't know. I don't have a kid. I don't yeah, know yeah. these things. Yeah. When when they're only like he's only a month old. Yeah. I so can't be feeding him. You know. When do they get the Gerber crackers or cheeseburgers? No, I'm saying or, about the Gerber. Like that's soft. Uh, that's. I I forget. Maybe it's six months or three to four months. I I forget. It's a few more months before we can start doing any kind of like baby food, at least. Do they, how, this might be a dumb question. How do, does she, how does she milk her boob? Be like careful. No, how does she. Be um, careful. I guess we can say whatever you want. How does she milk her boobs? D- d- does she put them in bottle? Like, how does that work? How does my wife milk yeah, her like, boobs? Or just how, not just your wife, but in general, like, do they, do, like, is there a set time where she goes and, could, Oh God, I don't want to offend anyone. No, no, I'm not gonna get offended. Say exactly. Since how do, you're not how aware does of the she topic. milk the get the milk out and like does she just squeeze and the milk goes into a a bottle and? Okay, good question. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Because um, I I've never seen so that. So there's a couple different ways Oof. to extract the milk. Yeah. You can. Is that a fair question? I don't. That's fair. If okay. you're not around it, I'm how not are you around it. I'm not around it. Yeah. yeah. You don't know how to milk a cow. Exactly. I've never. I'm. I'm not. From sorry, a farm. La- sorry, ladies watching. That was not a good analogy that I just used of a cow. But they get it. They get. They it. You get didn't it. mean to offend anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So, there's a couple ways to do it. You can use a pump, a breast pump, to get the milk out. So is it a vacuum type deal where? And then the sometimes. Just, and some, then some of them it, are it like battery. Some of them are battery operated. Some of them are like. That wouldn't be a bad job, huh? Being a breast pumper? Yeah. I don't know if that's an occupation. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> Hello, you, miss. I'm if here. You, if your, your job is to go to different I'm households. I'm here for the midnight ship. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you have this, yeah, you have the thing, the vacuum thing, and you're like, and you're like, and that's your job. Instead of triple A, triple D. Triple D, vacuum, um, <laughs> milk vacuum, yeah. Titty milk, milk va- vacuum. Titty, titty, titty milk. But continue. So it's a vacuum and you could pump and then... So there's a couple ways to do it. You can extract breast milk through a breast pump. If you have milk overflow, you can... That's in rare cases. You can actually squirt a little bit. There's something called a haka that you put on one boob to fill up this little thing that's like a suction cup on one boob while your baby's feeding on the other one. Because sometimes when your breast milk starts producing for the baby on one boob your body thinks that it needs to produce on the other side to keep them somewhat level. So it starts lactating on the other side. So in a haka with a suction cup, it goes into this cup and then you can save it for later to put into a bottle for a baby for maybe like a midnight feeding. So that way you don't have to to, to pump as much on the other side. Nice. And then the third way is with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it nice and cold, the breast milk? You put it in the... Freezer or fridge? Uh, no, the baby likes it more like warm, like body temperature. Really? Yeah, it goes down smoother. Okay. That's fair enough. Hey, you can ask me any questions Yeah, yeah. Wow, that was pretty impressive. Wow, I mean, that's... Oh, my knowledge on it? Yeah, because it's like only a father would know that. Like... Yeah. 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 Can you throw me another uh, breath mint, please? You got it, brother. Yeah, I'm having uh, nicotine withdrawals. This is the first time I I showed up without my nicotine. Thank you. How's your... uh, what do you mean? It's fine. You're... Yeah, fine. Why? What's going on? Are you on? still collecting? No. No. You stopped? I stopped. Whoa, this is big yeah. news. Yeah. Can we talk about that? Not really. I, I I thought that was old news. Yeah. No, no. Why did you stop? You didn't tell me you were stopping. Yeah, because I did. And then I noticed that uh, I, 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 I was uh, F- collecting one day. I'm like, and then I had an epiphany like, what are you doing? Can you fill them in on if they don't know? I was saving my um 
I was harvesting my uh, my my scrotum nuts, my scrotum skin. And what else? And my butt crust. And then I woke up. I had an epiphany, and I'm like, and then I and I woke up one day, or I was I was doing it, and I'm like, I'm like, there's another voice. The, I guess a voice of reason entered my uh, minefield, and it said something um, to the effect of, "Steve, what are you doing?" You know, this is ridiculous. You know? Mm-hmm. And... So some a voice of reason stepped in. A voice in. of reason entered and said, this is what you're doing? This is what you're doing. And I also thought, I also had this idea kind of entered. I was like, you could be doing so many other things other than what you're about to do. <laughs> Was that voice of reason me? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it might as well have been. Like, you know? did you hear my voice when you? When no, you... but it might as well have been. It's just <laughs> like, what do you, do? you know? Because it's like. So did you? Here's here's the big question. Did you throw it away? No, I have a. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I throwing freaking it. I'm knew it, a, dude. I'm having a hard time throwing it away. It's hard to say goodbye to. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I I. It's more of an a like a science experiment. At it's... this point, you know, it's like back then it was like. Um, More harvesting not skin and Just like you used to collect sea monkeys It's so immature Bye bye not skin No more collecting you You could fall to the wayside In the shower naturally like other men do no more collecting pieces of you. Goodbye, Bunker. Goodbye, Bunker. Oh, did you like that one? Oh, yeah. So that's growth, right? That's growth. It's growth. Oh, my God. I'm getting old, huh? Jesus. You Steve, know what? I'm writing a song. Your mom inspired me. My mom inspired you? Yeah, about the, the walking back from the parade or the carnival. Oh. Are you writing yeah. a song about that? Yeah, it's called Walking Back. Really? I yeah, can't wait to hear it. Yeah, inspired by your mom, like, because that... Cause I can kind of relate. Cause you're not in your you're in your 30s still. I'm in my 40s, so it's like we um, got to do something big for the 50. We gotta, oh, dude, hopefully I'll be down below. <laughs> That's not that far away. Why would you want to be down, down below for the 50? Six feet below. Why would you want to be down below for, for the, the six? Five oh, five oh, for the six, six feet, feet below for the 50. Oh, six feet below for the 50. Oh. Six feet below for the five oh. I won't be Six feet around below for the five oh. Six feet below for the five oh. Six feet below for the five. Do you get depressed when I talk like that? When you say stuff like that, because I know that that's like you know within a couple years. Yeah. I think it's great. You have. I'm not saying you have. Because I'm in a loving relationship, but as far as like, kids are different. Because I've you hear stories of, that's like you have it's like a second win. It's like you you live, it's it's not you're not living a selfish, self-absorbed life because you have to tend to these living 
things and you have to nurture and, and care for them and raise them. I don't have that in my life. So it's like, I'm sure if I had that, it would be, I would have a different, I'd come up with a different consensus or something. But like, I'm at, at a point where I'm like, I kind of know what earth is like and this life. And lifespan. you wouldn't want to bring a kid into it? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, well, when you're a sing, not a single guy, but when you don't have kids, because I'm not single, I'm in a relationship. But yeah. when you don't have kids, with, you, you have a different outlook on life, man. Uh, with a man or a woman? Both. You're in a relationship? No, no, I mean, I'm with a woman. I'm with a woman, and you know that. Right. Yeah, I'm with a woman, but I thought you meant if you're, if you're a man or a woman. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm with a woman, but, you know. I just like hearing you yeah. say that. I mean, it tickles me. Yeah, um, because <laughs> when you say, like, I I know I know you are, but like the more that you say, like I'm with, a, like I'm with a woman, the more that it's. <laughs> oh, because I don't know, because you know we do so much gay shit on the podcast. People might think I'm like really about that life, but I joke around about it. Well, what you joke around? Oh, well, well, you know, we it's, the gay shit fun to joke around about. Like, what do you mean? You know what I mean? It's like every other episode here. <laughs> I haven't done it this episode. Oh, you like it? It's it's fun just to joke around about it, you know. What would you say about it? Well, look at half our challenges. <laughs> <laughs> so you like doing that? It's just fun. Mm. You know, it makes it fun for me. Mm. But going back, to, uh, yeah, if I were to, do, I'm just saying, don't don't hold a funeral. So you're saying just just yeah, just turn me into ashes, yeah, mm. and um. I wouldn't want a funeral or anything. I wouldn't want to be buried. Um, why do you keep looking down? No reason. You keep looking down at the... What is on that paper? What's going on? Nothing. No, there's something going on. <laughs> it's like distracting. What's going on there? <laughs> Nothing. Is that a challenge or something? We might have been in the challenge the whole show. What? Don't worry about it. Just keep being you. No, because now... I'm, you kind of threw a Molotov at me, and I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? We'll so, get into the challenge in a little bit. Why do you keep looking down on Because your... it's my notes. You look at your talking points, and I don't say anything. I haven't looked as much as you're looking now. Why do you keep looking down? What's on that piece of paper? <laughs> you don't need to I know. I want to grab it. I want to read it. No. Yeah. No. What's on it? I'm not going to show you. Give me a hint or a clue at least. Jeez. I can't. Otherwise, it'll affect the challenge. Please don't say it's an eating challenge. I'm not eating shit this week. All right, dude. I'm just letting you know, bro. What if I am not eating shit. I don't care if it's the most delicious, hot, spicy, sour. What if I'm not eating shit. What if I said... I'm not eating nothing. What if I said... I don't want to be in pain this week. I want to just leave not feeling sticky and wet and spice in my mouth. None of it. What, what, None of it. What if I said... It, it, it better be... What, what if ahead. I said it was a big eating challenge, huh? What if I said that? What does that even mean? What if I said that we had to eat a lot of something? A lot of something? It, it all depends on what that something is. Is it is something delicious that's going to bring us joy? Nope. Then fuck that, dude. I'm really? out. Really? Yeah, bro. Really? Yeah, we're done with that for a while. Really? No more eating, dude. No more eating nothing. What if I said... I'll do it. What if I said I'll do it. you have to? Uh, no, well, that's what too bad. What if I said you have I'll to? I'll Uber the fuck back. Oh, right really? Now. Yeah. You're threatening... I'll only do it if Ryan eats eight of those hot peanuts. <laughs> eight of them? Eight. Okay, well, he's sick right now. Isn't that convenient? That's why he's sick. What if I... What if he I, didn't want to eat the peanuts. What if I said that we have to eat a lot today, dude. No, I'm not. I'll say no. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you getting angry right now? A little bit. Now I'm really, like, really getting a little anxious about oh, really? what's on that paper. Oh, okay. Can we get to it, please? A little bit. Like, how much more talking do we need to do? Like, I thought we've talked uh, uh, like a good 45 minutes, you know, and it's starting to get, it's starting to feel like a sauna in this motherfucker. It's like, you know, got some Patreon shit to do as well. Like. <laughs> Yeah, my threshold is getting thin, man. You know. That. Oh, is it? Would, would yeah, you say yeah. that? You, What's on that paper, would bro? Would you say that you're close to something? I don't know, man. Read it off. What is on there? <laughs> Dude, okay, I, I'm gonna count that. Mm. Okay, we've got a little bit of show left. No, we don't. I think that we're. <laughs> I think we're um, wrap. Let's wrap it up. We're not let's there wrap yet. It up. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. All right, then let's go back to like um, when I die. Before the big five zero, 
<laughs> don't hold a funeral for me. Don't do none of it. Will you at least do this? You know how like you know like during Coachella, like the 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 fucking Tupac hologram. Just put a keep the show going, but just put a hologram to sub in for me. Yeah, like a Stevie hologram. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What is going on? You looked at the piece of paper again, bro. Yeah, my Can notes. Can I guess what it is? I think I know what it is. What do you think it is? It's like Stevie repeated sentences or topics. And if every time I do something or repeat something, because he's brought it up before too. Like, dude, you talked about that last week, Steve. So it's something that has to do with it. It's like Stevie repeaters. If I repeat something, then it's like these are the most common it's, things. Steve. It's not a repeater, but it is close. It's not a negative thing. It's not a negative thing. It's not a repeater thing. It's not a negative. It's not in the lens of negativity. It's in the lens of positivity. It's for, but does it have to do with repeating certain phrases or topics that, that I tend to... Because I know I repeated a lot of stuff on the, the Jason Ellis thing. Like I'm like, oh, God. I've, you know, we talked about stuff that we've already talked about. Like the Yeah, but his audience, his audience hasn't heard that. Right. Yeah. So you're saying? As oh, far as, I got some good news. Maybe what? I should maybe I should hold off on saying it, but you and I have been invited to do Harlan's podcast. Really? Uh huh. Where? He, he said he wants us to do it. Oh, cool. A couple weeks from oh, now. Okay, cool. I love Harlan. The Harlan Highway, yeah, man. Yeah, he's good. He's one of the funniest. So hopefully, hopefully we'll we work Harlan. out a time. We love Harlan. Yeah, we love one of the funniest. One yeah. of the funniest. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, now I'm like really, I feel anxious because now I want to know what's in the Target bag. Well, that's part of the challenge. I know. And I'm like, what? You're looking at a piece of paper. You look, there's something in that bag. And it's something I won't be happy with. That's the thing. I know. Whatever the contents are in there, I'll be like, oh, that's what it is. That's gonna, what, that's what you think be, about me? No, no, I'm thinking not you. I'm thinking about the bag. Whatever's in the bag, it's not going to bring me joy. It's going to be something, A, painful. Two, it's going to be disgusting to eat. Three, it's going to bring me agony and distress. It's just, it's just it's not going to do anything to, to, pep, you know, to pep up my day. It's going to be something. And you, you think of it as a positive, but I, I mean, I beg to differ. You know, it might be something. I know it's not... Uh, it's not a, like a, a delicious ch- a cheesecake. Like, hey, Steve, this week I got a strawberry cheesecake. Let's enjoy this cheesecake. Then I'd be like, oh, wow, that's nice. It's going to be like, if it's a cheesecake, there's going to be shit on it or fucking peanut diarrhea, fucking morsels. It's going to be bad. So whatever that is, it's going to be like not good. It's not going to be delicious to my taste buds. That's what, what what's going on here, buddy. Unless you got like five cans of dip because I forgot. Hey, here, Steve, here's a here's a Grizzly Wintergreen. I know they don't sell them here in, in California. And I'd be like, oh, thanks. How straight would you say you are? I'm straighter than a straight line with a drawing it on with a ruler. So what does that mean exactly? I'm straighter than the straightest line that you would... When you make with a ruler, with a pen. If so, if you were a flame, dude, I'm not gay, bro. I do gay shit. I'm not gay, bro. Oh, yes. Stevie, bingo! You won the challenge, brother. What? Do you, how do you? How do I win a challenge where I don't know what the fucking challenge is, bro? That's a new experiment that we did on Scissor Bros today. The challenge has been going on the whole podcast. The viewers at home, they got a message that I recorded before that you came in to let them know that they were involved with the challenge this week. They've been playing. But wait, explain what the challenge. I don't know what the challenge is. Do you know what bingo is? Yeah. We did Stevie Ingo today. Really. So I'm going to I'm going to hand you this now and now you can hear. I'll hand it to you and then you can go over you can read the different squares on on the different things. Read them, read them. Steve Bingo. Read it out loud. Okay, so it's like a periodic table of, I guess, <laughs> my re- repeated things that I talk about. No, no, just catchphrases catch and different phrases. things on the show. Red zone, 
Masturbation. I felt like you kind of went there, so I counted that one. Frugal Brothers. Timestamp. I'm Not Gay. <laughs> Poop Talk. <laughs> War Zone. Scissors. Edit That Out. Free. Think About It. Fart Talk. Butt Crust. You're saying the wrong shit today. <laughs> Neck Fat. My Girl. <laughs> So I won. You won. Wow, that's a creative challenge. Do I get a prize? I mean, I, I, I did win something, didn't so I? So don't open this until. Don't open this until. When did hold up? When did you write this chart out? I did it today. And then I that a, last I, one, I, I said I'm not game, and then you marked it off. <laughs> How many did I need to win? You have to get four across. So oh. the way that we did it for the viewers at home, I'm gonna have Jordan. Photoshop four different versions of that board so people so up to four people can play at once at home. It's a multiplayer. So were you giving challenge. me like hints to like I on some of them I had to lead you into them to talk about it. So the whole time you were thinking about this as well. Yeah. You're like, how am I gonna get Steve to say yeah. this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cause if you didn't so let's say you didn't do the bingo. Then I would have won, and then you would have owed me something special. But you get this. Don't Thank you. here. So 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 come over here, and open it up when you sit down. Hold up. Is there something positive in here, or is it gonna be like a, ba a bag? It's not a bag of, of snakes. I want you to pull out the items one by one. Oh, beef jerky. I'm giving you the rest of my beef jerky supply Thank because you, you love dude. it so this, much. This helps. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I love beef I jerky. I know. I know you do. Oh, wow. Okay. That kind of changes it up. Yeah. Thank you. Another beef jerky. Yeah. There's money in here? A $50 bill, dude. 50 I can't take this. You won. $50 I bill. I thought a lot about this challenge. Thank you. Yeah. And what else? There's other stuff in there too, man. And a Red Bull. Yeah. Dude, this is not bad at all. It's the opposite of what I thought was in the bag, brother. Because I... Do you know how much dip I could get with this? Thank you, brother. Oh, hopefully you'll spend it on something else like food. <laughs> Please buy food with wow, it. Wow, not a bad day so far, huh? So, Steve... Wow, the, the reason, okay, things could turn around. The reason why I wanna, wanted to do this challenge is slightly different is... I never pretty, crea pretty creative. I never want us to feel on this show like we're doing stale stuff. And I also, like you said, it reaffirmed what I was thinking. You said if there was a cheesecake, there would be poop or something on it, something bad. I don't want us to go into every week dreading the challenges. Because that's the way it's been, huh? Yeah. Like where we're like, oh. Well, we get stressed like, oh, what is it this well, week? Dude, think of what we've been doing. I know. It's been every, yeah, but this is a treat. I, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't always have to be painful $50, or hurting us. Beef jerky, Red Bull. I wanted to celebrate oh, you. Oh, dude, thank you, brother. Yeah. Wow. Because here at Scissor Bros, we want to keep you guessing and we want to keep wow, the positivity that's, flowing. That's a ray of sunshine right there, brother. Yeah. So you, now you understand why I, you, I had brother. to get you into the red zone. <laughs> it was all for the greater good. That's why I kept kind of poking the bear. Oh, oh it's something oh, bad yeah, in yeah. it. Yeah, and then I, I, it triggered me. It triggered you big time. As far as me going, hey, there's going to be something bad in there. <laughs> you know what buttons to kind of push with me, don't you? Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. So we hope you guys enjoyed yes. uh, uh, this first interactive dude, challenge cheers. from home. Yeah. Dude, uh, got beef that, jerky. That we're trying out. Yeah. Um, so we love you guys. Check yes. us out on Patreon for bonus weekly episodes. Like Steve said, check out his Fart Corner vlog. Yeah. Uh, check out... Um, fart the full, songs, fart the songs. Fart songs. The yeah, fart, fart songs. Yeah, fart songs. Uh, check out my the full vasectomy vlog that's Definitely out now on my YouTube. Out. And also, yeah. Stevie's special, All in the Family, his Stand Up on the Spot yeah, episode it's on, is it's gonna out now. It's going to be on Netflix. Now. Yeah, it's on Netflix. So it's definitely tune in for that. Yeah. It's very exciting. Just working out some material, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Puer Eternos, my album should be dropped being soon. Soon? Puer. Yeah, soon, soon. Heck yeah. Thank you. Love I love you, brother. Hope love you, you had too, fun brother. like we did today. Hell guys. yeah. Bye. Scissor Brothers! 
Um, hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and... Yeah, I thought that was kind of a, a unique uh, challenge. Um, that was kind of cool. Um, anyway, I'm listening to some cars and stuff. Sometimes I like to do that. Um, it feels like I'm on the highway that I might walk out to at any time just because I get neglected and nobody talks to me anymore. But anyway, things are good over here. Um, I think Steve is onto something with his fart beats, but it could be cool. That vasectomy vlog looks wild. I'd never do that. You ain't snipping my boys. Anywho, hope you guys are well and hope you have a good weekend. Check us out on Patreon. Love you. Bye. Goodbye, butt crust. Goodbye, nut skin. Goodbye, butt crust. Goodbye. We don't need you anymore.